Good evening, everybody. David Paul here in the KHOU 11 Weather Center. It's 8 o'clock. It's Monday evening. It's time for the Tropical Update. It has been a very interesting hurricane season, not so much for landfalling systems in the United States, but because it really has been a season of extremes. What was a tropical storm in Andrea, Barry, Chantal, Dexter, uh, and Fernand, all were tiny little tropical storms. The ones that have become hurricanes have all become majors. Aaron went Cat 5, uh, Gabrielle went Cat 4, and then Umberto over the weekend went Cat 5. It's still sitting on Cat 4. And Imelda, a tropical storm right now, it is forecast to become a hurricane, although this one may be the first hurricane of the season that doesn't become a major. I say it may because it is forecast to go Cat 2. But Umberto and Imelda are both forecast to move away from the East Coast, and so it looks like this is not going to be a threat for uh, the East Coast and the Carolinas, which is very good. Again, we look at the quick update on the season forecast. This is Colorado State, but it basically mirrors NOAA's forecast as well, calling for 16 named storms, eight hurricanes, three of them being major. Well, we've already had three majors and we've had three hurricanes. We're about to have four. So by, by tomorrow morning, they think Imelda is going to be a Cat 1 hurricane. So that will bring us halfway to the hurricane forecast count for the season based on the Colorado State University forecast. As we look at the basin, you know, here's west coast of Africa. I've got a wave that's going to come off here, not showing any signs of development. There is a wave here in the middle of the Atlantic showing no signs of development, not expected to develop at the moment. Uh, we've got nothing in the Carib or the Gulf. So as far as the Gulf Coast and we here in Houston, we watch safely from a distance as the East Coast very carefully monitors Hurricane Umberto and Tropical Storm Imelda. So Umberto, winds of 140, so Cat 4 sitting here. It's undergoing a little bit of shear. It's pulling in some dry air. That may begin a weakening process overnight on Umberto. And then uh, Imelda, 65 mile an hour tropical storm. It's in a little better spot. It's going to become a hurricane, I think, by tomorrow. That is the forecast from the Hurricane Center that it develops it into a hurricane as we head into Tuesday morning. Now, what you're seeing here on the uh, enhanced infrared, most of this going into the Carolinas and the Virginias, not rain. High cloudiness going overhead from the high cloud tops coming off the uh, heavy rain associated with the, the more uh, centrally located precip around Imelda. So these two systems off the East Coast, what is there, there are several interesting factors. First of all, the two storms are about exactly 500 miles apart right now. And although that is close, it is not close enough to really get that interaction going. We're not seeing Fujiwara effect with these two systems. What we are going to see is when I want to run this forecast is what's happening in the big picture is that a big upper level trough, upper level winds are dipping down and then coming up. That trough is going to pick up both storms and push them off the East Coast. That's what you'll see happening when you see the forecast as they both move parallel uh, once we get into uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday, heading off the East Coast, being caught up in the same troughiness. So let's take a closer look at that. Uh, here are the upper level winds. So it's always the upper level winds when you want to forecast direction of hurricanes. Uh, and although this is, it, it's technical, it's a little bit of a mess. I'm going to clear this up for you a little bit. So you're looking at the wind flow at about 30, 34,000 feet. Uh, what you'll see is winds bending down and then up and off the East Coast. So that is, there's your trough. And this time of year, these mid-latitude troughs become more energized. We're changing seasons. We're going into fall. Uh, and as these troughs head toward the East Coast, they will pick up and redirect these storms and deflect them back out to sea if you've got one sitting on the East Coast. That's exactly what we've got here. It's this trough that is going to save the East Coast from a big uh, uh, storm and rain threat from Imelda. And what you'll see when I run this uh, model in motion is Imelda is closest to the trough. Right now, uh, Umberto is not being impacted by that trough. So when I run this in motion, you'll see Imelda gets curved first, and then almost pretty quickly after that, you'll see Umberto get picked up by the trough, and it will head off to the east. So I'll run this uh, forward in time, and there you go. The trough works its magic. Both storms get picked up and eventually get picked up in the upper-level flow 
and will race off to the north and east. And you can see, look, look at the trough, basically acting like a linebacker, just protecting, just defending the coast from any storm that wants to come in, deflecting those storms back out. So as long as you get that troughiness, the whole east coast is protected from storms moving in. It just won't let them. They'll get picked up and deflected off to the north and east. And that's go it's going to happen to both of these systems. You notice, although there are scattered showers in the Caribbean and the Gulf, none of that is organizing in any type of tropical system. Here's another look at it. This is the GFS. Both systems get picked up and off they go off the east coast. Good. Rain totals, all bad stuff is offshore. You see all the oranges and reds, three, four, five, six inch rain totals plus offshore, get into the purple, You're talking about nine, 10, 15, 20 inches of rain over the open water of the Atlantic. That's where we want it. The, the big concern was this, was that Imelda was gonna come inland and not only dump all this rain inland, but then it would be magnified in the mountains of the Appalachians and that's not gonna happen. All because of that trough. It's good to have a trough. Tuesday's forecast, 70, mild in the morning, 91 in the afternoon. It's going to be a beautiful warm afternoon in Houston. And what we've got for the next seven days is just we're going to repeat every day. Low near 70, maybe in the upper 60s. Highs near 90. Humidity stays low to moderate. It never gets bad, at least not for the work week. The only change in the weather, brief little blip, will be a 20% chance for a scatter shower Friday morning on the coast. And after that, the rain chances go away. So inland areas, I don't expect rain on Friday, but the coast Friday morning could have some showers. And then we go into another beautiful weekend where it's not really full blown fall. It's not full blown fall at all, but it's a little, it's a little spoonful. It's a teaspoon of fall with the lower humidity. And in Houston, we will take it. That is where we stand. We will see you for our next live broadcast on KHLU 11 News at 10 on the TV side. We'll see you later tonight.